There we go. We added a stream marker, microservices. Let's go. Here we go. This one feature. Why is it taking three years to run? Look, it's not that simple, all right? I have priorities. My team has deadlines. We have other deliverables. I'm still not understanding this. Why is it so hard to display the birthday date on the set? I can already feel so many emotions coming up inside of me. I know we haven't even started, but you guys just don't even know. You don't even know what happened to me. You don't even know about Black Mirror. You don't know about the pig f episode. This, it hits so home to me because of the pig f that I will literally never be able to recover from watching this video, but we're going to do it. Settings page. Why can't we get this done this quarter? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. We've been over this. It's the design of our back end. First, we have to call the bingo service. See, bingo knows everyone's name. Bing. <laughs> I'm sorry about the screen tearing, okay? Again, I'm switching to Sway March 13th, okay? Nemo, so we get the user's ID out of there. Then from bingo, we can call Papaya and MBS to get that user ID and turn it into a user session token. We can validate those with Umnop, and then, once we have that, we can finally pull the user's info down from Raccoon. Yeah. So, does anyone know about Black Mirror on Netflix? Anyone familiar with Black Mirror? Did anyone watch Black Mirror before Netflix purchased Black Mirror? Type 2 if you watched Black Mirror before Netflix owned Black Mirror, which was starting season 4. Did anyone watch it season 3 and less? Okay. Okay. Um, I got a story for you. We're going to do a story here very, very soon. But first, let us become emotionally damaged by what we're about to see, which this is a effectively a documentary of working at Netflix doing large things. But couldn't the raccoon team basically just... No, raccoon isn't guaranteed to have that info. Before we do this, we have to go to Wingman, do a query to see if the user's willing... I love the Wingman and Apex. I just, so I'm just very happy they, they named a service called Wingman to take it to the next level, or if they're just playing the field. Now, Wingman is cool, but he doesn't store any user info himself. He has to reach out to other user info provider services, like RGS, Barbie Doll, Ringo2, BLS. <laughs> but how does it know what all the user provider <laughs> services are? Well, for that, it has to go to Galactic, all-knowing user service provider. <laughs> I just hate this. Why do we make this? Why did the world do this? Why did we do this to ourselves? We had a world in which was not that great, and we replaced it with an idea that felt better. And now we have Galactus. Why is this? Why? Why? Aggregator. And while Galactus has omniscient knowledge of all current user info providers, it doesn't have future sight or knowledge of past user info providers, so it expects a time range. <laughs> to get all the current user info providers, we need to pass a time range with the current time and a time representing the end of the universe, which we get from EKS, <laughs> our entry chaos service. EKS is being deprecated at the end of the month for Omega Star, but Omega Star still doesn't support ISO timestamps like they said they would a month ago. <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh my goodness, we have such. So until Omega Star gets their fucking shit together, we're blocked. We can't get signed up for our use case. We can't use EKS. There's nothing we can do. So Galactus won't be able to find our new birthday boy provider, which means Wingman won't know how to talk to anybody, which means I won't be able to find true love and I'll die alone. <laughs> I'll die alone without ever knowing love, without ever knowing it's my birthday. <laughs> it's birthday We're blocked, more. okay? <laughs> We're blocked, you sad, pathetic little product manager. <laughs> They just don't know the pain, okay? Product managers don't know the pain that's going on here. They don't. They can't. They cannot under, They cannot feel it. He has a notepad trying to write down what's happening. He doesn't feel it deep down. You think you know what our users want? You know nothing of my pain. Of Galactus's pain. You think you know what it takes to tell the user it's their birthday? <laughs> You know nothing. Delivering this feature goes against everything I know to be right and true. And I will sooner lay you into this barren earth than entertain your folly for a moment longer.
All right, so clearly this is a blocker. Uh, no problem, we'll push this out another two to three years or so. Learned a lot today, love Galactus. Uh, but we'll talk next week about adding middle names to the profile. Awesome, sounds good. Take care. It's just so painful. It's just so painful to see. So when I was working at Netflix, uh, oh my goodness, where's my marker? There it is. Got it. When I was working at Netflix, um, during my time there, which I'm still there, by the way, uh, we had this beautiful thing. Okay, that's way too big. What is happening here? Okay, well, this is this is not this is not this is not what I was hoping for. And make it smaller. Yep, make it smaller. And yeah, there we go. So. While my time at Netflix has been fantastic, there was this time in which we need to do a little show called Black Mirror. And it sounds like a lot of people are pretty familiar with Black Mirror. Now, I want to I want someone to type into the into the chat PF if you know what the first episode's about. Type PF in the chat if you know if you know about the first episode. Okay, for those that don't know what PF is, it's called pig f Um, Yes, you heard me correctly, pig f And uh, at my job, I had several meetings in which involved the phrase pig f to be said a hundred separate times. It was wild. And so we came up with this idea, okay, hear me out, is that we, Netflix, are producing season four. There are three seasons before us, season three, Season two, season one. And we thought, you know what would be way better? Is instead of showing you the first episode, S1, E1, pig f Instead, we're going to show you S4, E1. Which means you couldn't just reverse sort it, right? You couldn't just, okay, this is a reversed sort ordering because then you get S4, E6. I think, I think there's six episodes in season four. And so you couldn't do that. You could not... Just simply reverse it. So what we have to do is we have to reverse the season. So we'd have to have a reverse season, but not a reverse episode. Now, this caused a lot of problems in our system. The reason why it caused a lot of problems in our system is quite simple. There's a few different things that need to come into play here, okay? So first off, there is GPS. GPS would calculate your Lolomo. Your Lolomo, of course, is the list of list of movies that exist on Netflix. It's when you go there, you scroll through it, that's what you're going to see, okay? List of list of movies. Pretty straightforward. Uh, GPS has nothing to do with a map, but shockingly enough, a service called Map would call into GPS and get the skeleton of your GP of your Lolomo and then fill it in more dynamically, right? Be able to get things going on. So you'd see something like this inside GPS. GPS would produce a list of shows and one of them would be say like Black Mirror. Now it's probably gonna choose Black Mirror S1 E1. And so Map has to be smarter and Map needs to go, well, wait a second. S1 E1 isn't actually the latest episode or the episode we should be promoting. Instead, we need to be promoting S4 E1. So Map itself doesn't know anything about what is latest about videos. That is where something called VMS comes in. VMS, oh my goodness, sorry. VMS, VMS. VMS, Video Metadata Service, right? But Video Metadata Service doesn't actually hold. <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> video Metadata Service doesn't actually hold any data about Video Metadata. And so Video Metadata Service actually used something called, if I'm not mistaken, Dexter, which has a lot of the data about it. It also had a second service that provided other data about it. I can't remember the name of that service, okay? And so VMS was very, very important, but VMS didn't know anything about ordering. It just used raw data out of Dexter, and we didn't want people to have to reverse order in Dexter and go back through and do that. We can't do that because then it's going to get all screwed up because here's the deal is though we're delivering all these things down we need a way to be able to identify them uh by their their season countering and all that so we also had like this metadata service about it such as like their season name their season and episode number so if you just had season one be replaced with season four it would come back as s1 
E1, which is incorrect. So the metadata service also couldn't just have things out of order because metadata service also relied on this. So now that we have that, we needed something else. So then came in a glorious thing called C, M, S, content metadata service. So content metadata service's real job was actually to provide a service that would do these kind of more logical reorderings at runtime and not at service time. That way we could have these really beautiful items in here. And so that way map actually called into content metadata service to make sure it was delivering the correct thing. But here's the problem. There was more things that needed to happen because then on the front end, you would have to call in and get your Lolomo and then we would receive these. But the problem is, is when you're on your Lolomo, your list of list of movies, what happens when you look at your seasons? Well, they're not reversed because we are still currently using VMS for our middleware. So our middleware needed to start using CMS. But the problem was, is that API uses the API service gateway pattern, which means that we now have things such as get, you know, get metadata to. We literally had get metadata too because get metadata can't just be deprecated. You can't just you can't just undo these things. So we actually had to develop a second name to do this. But here's the problem: How did you know you need to call this? Well, we actually had to create another service. I forget what it was even called at this point that would tell you if this video needed to be reordered based on flags in a separate system, which I can't remember what it was called. So when you combine all these systems together, this was how microservices happened. This is how we reversed episode ordering at Netflix, okay? And I led the charge on this one, okay? I did that. I did that. It was a lot of fun. It took like four months. Oh, you know what the worst part about it is that I didn't get to really choose a lot of the names. And so there's this problem that happened on website. Uh, website, because one of the flags that would come down from this service up here, which you can barely see, was hidden episode, blah, 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 numbers, right? And so that was a runtime decision that had to be made and the website couldn't support it being on the server side, so it had to be on the client side. So we'd actually send down those flags on the to the client, and the client would then not display it. Because we just didn't have time for another service right here to do the mixing of all these things, right? So we had that, and so we had to do that. But here's the problem, is the website team, uh, the website team, they hated this name. And so I had to do a whole code review and then not allow these names to take place because this implies actually not visible. And they didn't want a not visible. They wanted the name to be said in a way that's not complicated. So we had to then, after making all the changes and everything was uniformly ready to go, someone said, hey, we can't do this. And I just said, hey, I mean, this is just the name of the flags. I think it's better just to stick with the names throughout. You know, it's not the name I would choose, but whatever. And of course, that didn't work out. So I had to then do a quick refactor, rename things, and that's that. It was, it was the worst experience of my lifetime. All this, so that the pig f episode wasn't the first thing you saw. <laughs> Can you fix the uh, no? Uh, let's see. Why not just a rate, uh, uh, reverse on the front end? Did you not hear? Oh my goodness. I feel like I just did an entire story. Why not? Did, were you not even paying attention? Were you not even paying attention to this whole thing? I, I just, ex don't be coming into this chat with your VS code vibes. All right. You keep that out. You keep that out right now.